Okay, so I'm back in my room for the first time since leaving this morning. It's been a stressful day. <laughs> basically, my biggest stressor today is an essay that I have due tomorrow. And basically, it was assigned the day before we left for Cyprus. And our professor told us to start on that day, but like none of us knew what we wanted to write about yet because we hadn't been in Cyprus. I had a field class for that class yesterday, which is basically a mandatory field trip for your class and it's worth 20% of your grade. So you have to show up. During that field class, she had us outline our essays, which means that she knows we didn't finish it yet, which means that she knows we're only getting today to do the essay. And it's like a hefty essay. It's like 2000 words. So that's so fun. And to the people who say that semester at sea isn't school, it very much so is. I have more essays to write here than I ever did at home, and one of my classes I have a 10 page final paper. <laughs> yeah. So it's definitely school, and of course we get to travel the world, and that's absolutely incredible. And handling, you know, traveling the world in this fast paced environment, and uh, you know, maybe being abroad for the first time ever, like how I am, it's a lot to handle as well as schoolwork. So it's a lot to take in definitely, but it's doable, but it's definitely more of school than people think it is. Anyway, yeah, I have about 300 words right now and I don't even know what else to write about, which means that I had no classes today because it's an A day. I only have global studies on an A day, so it's a really nice day for me to get my essay done. <laughs> Yay. I'll get it done, but that's just a little bit of a stressful situation. I also have a lot of laundry to do. I love doing laundry so much on the ship. I love washing it in my sink. Just kidding. Hey, I saved money from washing it in the sink. Anyway, I have one load I'm going to send out in my hallway for them to take and then I'm going to do one load also in the sink just to sort of divide up. And if you're a future size Voyager wanting to know more about the laundry situation, I talk a bit about that in my CDs in my life video. So if you want to learn more about the laundry, you can just check out that video. So yeah, I have my essay and laundry to do now. Let's go do that now. I might film a little like cute time lapse to motivate myself to get this done because I have to clean my room too. So yeah. <laughs> Register for field programs in Greece is tomorrow. So I may have broken the bag and it may not close fully, but I did it. So this looks like a lot. Um, this is about how much I still have left after putting a whole load out. It's basically thin pants and shirts and most of it's honestly just socks, bras, and underwear. So I already cleaned the sink and I'm going to show you how I do the rest of my laundry in the sink. And in terms of where you can dry your clothes, you do have this um, little drying rack here that they have for you. You can also put stuff up there if you can reach. I kind of have to like jump up and hoist myself up there. I also bought this little um, clothes hanger uh, with little clips. They're already attached. If you move this to the side, you can also have some extra space here, or you can get a hanger from your closet and hang it here. Um, don't hang anything in your room. I've seen people hang things from their lights. If you do that, it will get taken down and you might get yelled at, so don't do that. So yeah, um, I have some laundry detergent here. I also have some washer sheets down here that melt in water. First point of business is clogging the drain and filling the sink. So here's what one of the melt away uh, washer sheets look like. And then when you dump it in the water, it just kind of disintegrates. And then I'll start putting clothes in. So once your clothes are in there, you literally just kind of turn it around like a washing machine would. And I do this for about two to three minutes, depending on how much I put in here. 
Um, so as you can see, I have this amount in the sink and I still have that amount left. So we still got a while to go. Uh, it's gonna be probably a good half hour of doing this, but yeah, I'll update you once I hang everything up. Also, once you finish washing your clothes, you just wanna pop the drain back open so that the water drains out and then you can rinse with cold water to get the soap out. And then the hardest part, the worst part, is wringing out your clothes. And you want to do this really well. And when I say really well, I mean really well, or else your clothes will never dry. So definitely do this really well so that your clothes will dry a lot quicker. Also, remember when I said this would take a half hour? It has been an hour and I'm not done. I still have my second load. I hung up the first load though, but we're still going. few hours since I've updated because this essay has literally been consuming my entire day. Um, I'm doing pretty well. Um, I have 644 words. I need to have, I think, 1,800 for the first draft and then later I have to make it 2,400 or something like that. It's going decent, but it could be going better. Anyway, so exciting news. We are actually going to be around 700 tomorrow anchoring off a wait what's it called we're going to be anchoring off of hania which is a greek island i guess because there's going to be some big winds tomorrow or in the upcoming days i don't really know it's kind of funny because right now there's a zero sea swell which is strange we've never had a zero foot sea swell it's been very calm at sea today so it's kind of funny, the calm before the storm, I guess. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to get off, but we are going to be able to probably see a bit of the island. So that'll be really fun. That means I have to wake up early though, but I guess I don't have to because we're not pulling into the island. We're just gonna be anchoring off of it. So we might be far away anyway. But yeah, those are my updates for now. This is also the Dean's memo. We get this every day at two o'clock, 1400. And it basically just says ship events and also we get a bridge report so we get to see how fast we're going at um, 12 o'clock, uh, speed, sea depth, all that, um, different events that are happening. Um, yeah, I don't know how much else I can show you because there are like emails and uh, names and stuff. So, but yeah, that's our home port. It's, uh, it's 514 and dinner starts at 5 30 so i'm going to work on my essay for a bit more and then meet up with emma for dinner hopefully because whatsapp is sort of being spotty now fun fact whatsapp was never available on other voyages but somehow on our voyage two weeks in they turned on whatsapp for the world odyssey wi-fi so that's pretty cool but it's letting me message people off the ship but it's not like sending to people on the ship it'll send but it won't deliver so that's interesting. Um, it was actually on the Rumor Ranger, I'll show you. I actually don't know if I can show you the Rumor Ranger because there's a semester to see email and I don't know if I can put that out here. Basically the Rumor Ranger is you can send in rumors that you hear and then the home port that we get every day at two o'clock will either answer or deny them or say that they're true or false. And for today it was WhatsApp access was turned off from World Odyssey. They said false, WhatsApp continues to be available over World Odyssey. Internet access can be glitchy at sea sometimes. It does require patience or a reboot, but it has not been discontinued. So there's still hope in WhatsApp on the ship. Thank goodness, because everybody was worried. <laughs> Here struggling. <laughs> oh God, I'm depressed. <laughs> 
So we were studying in the union, not studying, we were dying with our essay in the union. And then we got kicked out because there was a meeting going on, so we had to leave. We tried to go in Berlin, but it was too busy. <laughs> Everywhere's so busy. Every single room, there's people in being so loud. I was so stressed, so I decided to get popcorn from the snack bar in the library. And now we're going to crank out our essays in my silent room. I have to say something. I cannot imagine making out alive past today. It is currently 2108.13. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be pulling an all-nighter. Oh. <laughs> oh, no! I can't do this. Hi. <laughs> I hate my life. What happened? Anyways, as I was saying, <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. I'm literally going to start crying <laughs> tears. <laughs> words do and I've been doing this since hmm <laughs> I don't know maybe like 10 in the morning and I've only got 394 and I can't use what internet because I don't have any but I can't now I have to use my words my actual brain I'm so stressed I have an old look at my acne God, my acne was going away and now it's back again <laughs> Okay, Emma, time for our update at 9 o'clock, or 10 o'clock, it's 10 o'clock. I'm currently at 1,332 words. What are you at? 632. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I finished my draft. However, I can't upload it because there's no place to upload it. But I finished. I'll just do it tomorrow in class. Do you want to say goodnight to the vlog? Good night. Good morning everybody! Today is February 26th. It's a B day, which means I have all of my classes today. I have global studies 8.30 to 9.30. I have travel writing 9.40 to 11. I have a little break for lunch and then I have intro to theater 2.10 to 3.30 and then modern women writers 3.40 to 5. So it's a busy day. We are currently anchored off of and I am really excited to go see. I see it on the TV a little bit, but I'm gonna go out and see it after I make my bed and go to breakfast. So. Okay, so I just got back from my travel writing class and we basically peer reviewed our essays that were due this morning. Emma did finish her essay. She finished it at 1am last night, so I'm so proud of her. Did not think she was going to finish that. It's 11.15 right now and lunch opens at 11.30, so I'm just going to kind of, whoa, I'm just going to kind of decompress for a little bit, listen to music. I've been currently obsessed with three albums right now. I'm obsessed with one of Wolf Alice's album. I've also been obsessed with uh, Caroline Polachek's new album. It's so good. And also Gracie Abrams released an album two days ago. And that also literally made me sob. It's so sad, but it's so good. Yeah, so I'm gonna listen to some music for lunch. So Emma's in positive psych and it's supposed to be positive. So say what you have to do for your assignment. I have to write my, oh, an obituary for myself. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I'm on my deathbed or if well, I won't be on my deathbed, I'll be literally under the ground. I I'm trying to think, what do I want? I can't read German. She's asking him for advice on her obituary. <laughs> okay, so I just got back from lunch and I used a bit of data because we have service. So I was on TikTok a bit. Yeah, I also thought I wanted to explain a bit about how internet works here. So on the ship, we have internet and intranet. And there are two different Wi-Fi's that you connect to. So internet is the SAS Wi-Fi and there are different Wi-Fi packages you can buy but the standard one that you have is 100 megabits per day. It really depends how you use it. Sometimes honestly it just 
vanishes out of nowhere like i literally signed into it this morning downloaded two photos that my my friend sent me on whatsapp and then i like couldn't use anymore so it really depends um and then we have the world odyssey wi-fi which is internet so that includes things that we can access for free all, all the time so that includes moodle which is where our courses are it's like if you ever use blackboard or brightspace or canvas at your home university and we can use things like Google searches, we can't click on websites, but you can like search weather in said country or, you know, a certain thing. And you can see like all the links and like little um, descriptions, but you can't actually click on them. You can click on things like New York Times and Wordle and Wikipedia. Wikipedia works on World Odyssey, but the other ones like New York Times and Wordle, you can only click on if you are logged into the SAS Wi-Fi, not signed in, but open to the home page or else you'll end up using your data using your 100 megabits on New York Times and Wordle. Um, that's a little bit how the internet works or internet and intranet. Some people do buy um, the more expensive packages, but I've heard that it's not really worth it because they don't work anyway. Or I bet a lot of people were mad when WhatsApp was added to the World Odyssey Wi-Fi, the uh, internet, because probably a lot of people wanted the bigger Wi-Fi package to talk to their family and now we can. Because originally we could only use C-mail which um, is basically your email and email works on the ship, but you couldn't use WhatsApp and now you can. So I bet a lot of people were upset about that. For all you Mamma Mia fans out there, there's a lot going on today, so here we go. We have our fantastic Interport lecturer tonight with an introduction to Greece at 1900 in the Anderson Union. Saying goodbye, a grief discussion group at 2000, Global Snack Club, a dance party featuring DJ Czar and Duke at the evening beverage service at the pool deck 2100. Mm. The theme tonight is blackout, so wear your all black. And last but not least, we hope you're enjoying your lovely view of the Isle of Crete because good news is we're going to be sitting here one more day because the winds are predicted to pick up this evening and into tonight. So it's best if we're not churning through the sea and are hanging out at the lovely port and looking at the view. So tomorrow will we will also be at anchor. So enjoy your day today. <laughs> But yay, we're gonna have service another day. That's exciting. We're right by um, the port that we need to be in in Greece, so I'm not worried about getting there in time. But And you also got to hear a little bit of the bing bong, as we call it, every single day. There are announcements every day at 12.30 and 6.30 p.m. And they just kind of give a rundown of what's going on for the day. And there's also the home port, like I explained before, at 2 p.m. every day. Also, get used to 24 hour time because you will need it on the ship. So my RD's birthday is coming up and one of the RDs actually left us green sheets to decorate and we're gonna surprise him in his birthday. It's actually kind of funny because when they said green sheets, I thought they meant like the green sheets that we get before every port. They meant green paper. The other graded things in class. Oh, perfect. No, I'm not. Oh. Um, <laughs> Okay, this is a monumental happening. Oh. I'm not putting Lido down. Guess where we're going? Berlin. We're going to Berlin. <laughs> Berlin. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nancy. Okay, Emma and I are back from the Interport lecture now, and I bought Pringles. Whoa. <laughs> I bought Pringles. I caved. And I got some cheesy, cheesy Pringles. Cheesy cheese Pringles. Tonight is a beverage night. It's drink night on the ship at the pool bar. And I don't think I'm going to be drinking. But I have a theater final project. And we're basically making a reflection video that's office themed. Like the office. And, um, oh, there's Emma. And we're going to go at the drink night and just go in line and be like really quick things. Like, can you spell Mediterranean in five seconds? Or, you know, like... What are your thoughts on blah blah blah? And it's just gonna be like little comedy things. <laughs> yes? Not big. So, sorry. <laughs> it's just the way you're sitting. It's funny. <laughs> Mind the 
half done hair, I realized I did not vlog at all today. Basically, what I did was I got up at 7.40, got ready, had breakfast at 8, and then went to Global Studies at 8.30, and now I've just kind of been chilling in my room. Um, I was going to take a nap, but I couldn't actually fall asleep, so now I'm braiding my hair, and then I'm going to go to lunch, and then afterward, get some work done. I'll show you my fit in a second, but today's sort of a relaxing day. It's an A day, which as you know, means I only have global studies, so it's my favorite day. I'm just like a reset day, basically. So this is the fit of the day. I actually really like it. Um, I got this bracelet in Jordan. And I also got these, or I only put one on. I got this necklace in um, Cyprus, and I'll show you a close-up. It's just this cute little beachy necklace that I really like. Um, so yeah, I think everything's pretty coordinated today. Usually, I just have like sweatpants and a t-shirt, so this is a little special day. So let's go to lunch. Yeah. Okay, everybody, this is why Emma and I don't come to Berlin. This was like, the okay, that table is taken, basically. This was like the one free table, and it's just for two people. Yay. I want my booth back so fast. In Lido. <laughs> I want to just pick up my plate and go in the elevator <laughs> and go back up to my booth. Are you a Berlin hater? <laughs> no. I just like, I like the booth in Lido more. You get, it's smaller, there's a booth, you have a window, always. Except if you sit in the middle. You can sit outside if you want. They have yogurt in the morning that is so good. Which is probably here too, but... <laughs> it's definitely here too. Lido wins over the end of the story. absolutely nothing the past couple hours um i sat in my room literally watched like half an episode of you i'm honestly not that impressed with this new season but you know whatever i did do one thing though and that was make the little card for my rd so this is mine i think it's cute anyway i need to go turn my drink card in because it is due by six o'clock tonight and if we don't turn it in we get charged for every as if you filled out the entire sheet I only got three drinks out of the 15, so I'm not about to be charged $60, so I need to do that immediately. Um, I do have some work I need to get done. It's not immediate, but I do need to get it done, and that needs to happen eventually tonight. travel writing class <laughs> okay so i got this in jordan it's warhead soda i've never seen anything like it and i really want to try it because i like warheads but i don't like soda so. oh it's good but it's not like, sour though is it sweet it's mostly just sweet do you want to try some no i don't <laughs> it literally just so tastes like blue raspberry soda well, I know what blue raspberry Jolly Ranchers taste like. I'm watching another sex um, TV show about women's sexuality. The Principles of Pleasure, Season 1, Episode 1, Our Bodies. It's March. What if you watch this vlog? Does it be like, ooh, my mind range just goes wrong?
Yeah, I'll probably stay after. I'll probably stay.